everyone, John from Trisity Traveling, flying home from Seattle to Boise today. And apparently I'm flying on Emirates. Not really. Emirates is a code share with Alaska Airlines, and today I'm actually flying on a Q400 operated by Horizon for Alaska. As is the case with just about every airport I visit these days, more construction is happening at Seattle. I arrived in the North Satellite, have to take the train to the main terminal and then walk my way up to gate 16F, sorry, C16F, quite the little jaunt, I will speed it up for you. through the terminal up to C16F. This was a Friday afternoon and it was quite busy. One of the best parts about flying with Horizon is boarding outside. We are boarding through gate eight or door eight, which takes you out onto the ramp. Unfortunately, you don't get much of a chance to linger. And as you can see, I'm flying the Oregon State University Beavers liveried Q400. It's been many years since I've been on a Q400. I had forgotten how kind of snug it is for a regional jet. 31 inch pitch and the 17 inch wide seat. I'm in row 17 and there is my view. If you're going to fly a Q400, I very much recommend getting your seat early and getting as far forward as you can. You do not get great views because of the turboprop. The other feature that the turboprop provides is a very noisy cabin. It's a very different experience flying on a turboprop. To my knowledge, there's only a few other operators of the Q400 or Q series in North America. I think Porter Air in the East Coast, I think they fly the Q400 as well. So there's probably not a lot of you around the United States uh, who will have an opportunity to, to fly a Q400. I'll give you my thoughts overall at the end. But it's time to depart SeaTac. out of Reputed Sound and south towards Tacoma. Turn back to the east right after departure. And as they say in Seattle, the mountain was out. Mount Rainier. Very scenic from Seattle on nice clear days. Just managed to sneak some good views of it underneath the turbo prop. A couple of the other Cascade volcanoes. And making good progress. 
crossing over into Boardman, Oregon, and snack time with a full soda can, which is kind of nice. I don't get that very often. I had a first class flight the other day, and I was not given the whole can in first class. It's about an hour and 15 minute flight from Seattle to Boise, and we're quickly approaching home. Lake Lowell. You can see that's a man made lake reservoir. Southern Idaho is uh, green with irrigated farmland. There's quite a bit of it there. This flight flew almost directly over my house. When I returned home, my son said that my flight had actually gone right over the house, which is kind of cool. flight was April 26th, very lush and green this time of year in the Boise area. And because I can't see anything else, I chose to watch the wheel on the tires as we approached and landed. Don't normally get to see the wheels. quick puff of smoke and a bounce and we're in Boise. trip back to the gate where the turboprops are shut down and that's the extent of that flight. Staff on board Alaska and Horizon was excellent. I had no complaints about the staff at all. Service was great, what there was. Flights to and from Vancouver were so short that there was no onboard service, but that's okay. Didn't really expect anything on that short of a flight. Watching the turbo spin down. Very av geek thing to do. Regardless of all that, please remember to check out uh, my website, tricitytraveling.com, where I'll be blogging from these trips. There's a better view of the flight, or there's a better view of the aircraft, I should say. And let's wrap up with thoughts from the moment. All right, everyone, John from Tricity Traveling. I have arrived back home to Boise. There are some F-18s right there. Uh, my buddy Colin posted some pictures of a C-5 Galaxy. I was kind of hoping I would be able to see that out here. Let's see, out there, out there somewhere. But unfortunately, it is either not here or it's parked behind the terminal building, and so I can't see it. But anyway, that concludes this flight uh, and this particular series of trips. I will say that the Key 400 um, might go to the bottom of my uh, favorites list. I uh, used to really like that particular aircraft. Very visceral experience, but apparently I'm soft from all my first class flights, and I guess that's how it goes. I'm old. I like white seats, and I like to be pampered. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I'm sure there are a lot of you that will uh, rip me a new one for that. Anyway, signing off. Until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, next up, uh, flights on American Airlines to Atlanta, of all places. Um, definitely changing things up, going on a completely different airline. I do have a couple first-class upgrades on this. Uh, and there'll be some gluten-free meals on these flights. So stay tuned, and those will be out very soon. Thanks, and happy travels. Vlog update. The C5 is right there. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of crap in the way. 
So, no good pictures. Not even gonna get my camera out, but it is here. Sweet. Look at the camera, look at the camera. <laughs> this vlogging thing, I don't know, it's weird.